हेलो गाइस दिस इज द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द अपकमिंग सीरीज ऑफ क्लास इलेवन प्रैक्टिकल एंड द क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन इट सो द फर्स्ट टू पार्ट्स हैव ऑलरेडी बीन अपलोडेड एंड वॉच दिस पार्ट ऑल्सो वेरी केयरफुली इन दिस प्रैक्टिकल वी आर गोइंग टू मेजर द डायमीटर ऑफ ए गिवन वाई यूजिंग स्क्रू गोज In the first two practicals, we had used vernier calipers, but now we are using screw gauge. For this experiment, we require screw gauge, a thin wire, and a meter scale for measuring the diameter of a thin wire using screw gauge. In this experiment, we use the following formulas. First is that for total reading, we use the formula of main scale reading plus circular scale reading, where main MSR and CSR respectively. CSR is n into LC LC the least count of screw gauge or you can say screw gauge constant that is 0.001 cm and n is a number of circular scale division that coincide with the main scale and here also the main scale reading always remains constant and the circular scale reading can vary from time to time it depends upon the readings you take and whether it's correct or not in this image you can see how the diameter of a wire is measured by using a screw gauge ps is a total point where you clinch the wire and q is the point exact point where the wire is held and you can see the that line that is marked as wire then tm is the main scale reading it always remains constant then comes ms that is a circular scale reading which may vary then sr it is a point where you hold to rotate to so that your wire is held firmly remember that the wire should be held firmly neither tightly nor loosely because if you do either of them then the readings will be wrong and you might get error in your readings in this image you can see the readings that i had obtained by measuring the diameter of a thin wire using a screw gauge the msr or the mean scale reading always remains constant i took the reading 5 times because i consider it as an ideal number then i measure n that is the number of circular division in line with the mean scale i got the answer 75 45 85 98 and 89 then i multiplied n with the least count or else you can say the screw gauge constant that is 0.001 cm and the answers were 0.75 0.45 0.85 0.98 0.9, and 0.89 then n into lc is the circular scale reading then we add msr and csr and the answers were d1 d2 d3 d4 and d5 the value of d1 was 1.75 cm d2 1.45 cm d3 1.85 cm d4 1.98 cm and d5 was 1.89 cm after this we find out the mean diameter mean diameter of a thin wire using a screw gauge is found out in the same manner as the mean diameter of a metallic bob using a vernier calipers was found out you have to add all the diameters obtained and upon the number of times you are taking the reading and then you get your answer then you finally get the result that is the mean diameter or you can see the corrected diameter is 0.1784 cm then come precautions precautions are most important as i have already mentioned the earlier practical also for this the precaution are that zero error should always be taken into account then if the screw gauge is per from zero error this fact should be read as nil which means if there is no zero error then it should be recorded as zero then stop turning the react ratchet at the moment it starts slipping that the point that you turn if it start making a sound then you must stop turning it otherwise you may get errors then comes that error due to parallax should be avoided it it is important to avoid the error due to parallax otherwise you may get a serious error in your readings another important thing is the sources of error the sources of error is that error due to backlash cannot be avoided but it can be minimized you must minimize the error due to backlash in order to get the correct readings and the reading should be always taken at the eye level because if you take below or above the eye level then it might cause parallax and then you might get errors in your reading 
Zero error, which students do not take into account, must be taken. It is a precaution as well as a source of error also. So thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you have liked it, please press the thumb icon. And we will further update you about the upcoming video series.